left Bramwell Station and we are going to explore the Fruit Bat Falls today. And then we're staying, where are we going to the Jardine? Yeah, yeah, so we're just driving, we just dropped our vans up the top. We're just driving in the track to Fruit Bat Falls. Then we'll go check out uh, Elliot, which apparently the boys reckon there's a water crossing to get there, which could be interesting. Anyway, we'll see that when we get there. And then we're gonna stay um, at the camp, just at the Jardine there. So we'll go over tomorrow and head to the tip. Trailer parking. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so we didn't even need to take the vans off. There's an area to park with vans. Uh, yeah. So we are currently walking down to the Fruit Bat Falls. Um, we didn't know this, but there is trailer parking down here. So I don't know if our rig would fit in there, but if you're cruising around with, I don't know, a medium sized hybrid to a, even maybe even a 20 foot van, because there was actually a Ram in there with a big toy hauler. So yeah, you can fit decent rigs down here. Um, yeah, you don't really need to leave them up at the road. Wish I knew that, but anyway, we left ours up there. And now we're walking down. So we just got out. Um, we're only recording from back here because there's a lot of people around. But that's the falls behind us. We're under waterfalls, we're jumping. This one wasn't jumping, she's not allowed to jump because she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now we're gonna go have lunch and then we're gonna go check out Elliot. So we'll show you Elliot once we get there. Turn here, we go to Elliot Falls camping ground and day use area.
So this is the receipt for crossing the Jardine. So cost us two hundred and twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. And it also covers all these campgrounds as well. Would you like to say anything? We only just fit. Like literally, <laughs> we had a, about a foot and a half to two foot at the end and a foot and a half to two foot at the front. So yeah. Oh well, we're here now. If it were much longer, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> it was an expensive two minutes, but that was yeah. fun. So, yeah, now we're off to Seisha. I think that's how you say it. Yep. So. That's it. Seisha for a couple of days. And then I think we're going to go and um, go check out all the free camps. Yep. We might spend a week or no, six. So, I might spend about two weeks up here north of the Jardine. And then I'm thinking at least, what, a week or two to go south. So a good month up here. Yep. So yeah, I'll we'll show you along the way.
wrong one to jump on the other side? Yeah. Dan? Right. Yeah, no, it's all, all good, man. I'm filming. Come on, get him up. Fuck, look at that rod bending. I was thinking that's looking a bit sharky. Yeah, pretty sharky. Pretty similar to what I was doing with the chuck with it. Pretty big. Might need to swap you the gaff for the snap. <laughs> well, mind you, it's kind of a bit more like a dude now, big heavy weight. I just can't believe the hurt on that rod. <laughs> hey, it's only cheap shit, but fuck. Good old ugly stick. Damn it. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put the gaff away. Oh, look at this. No, it's a Trevally. Look at the shark. Fuck. That's asking for trouble. Yeah, that's you. Tim's still in the water. Too much weight on one side of the boat. Oh. I got shocked. <laughs> We're still on our line, you can still drop. <laughs> Jesus. Get up. Yeah, it's not a shark. Dan, Dan, move. Fuck, he's on the other side of the boat. Can you move? Oh, fuck. 
can't get it around that motor. <clears throat> Yeah, the line's wrapped on something. Still uh, trim it up. Yeah, I can see the line's wrapped on the bottom. The fish is still on. Oh no, it's not. The line goes up and over.